Word 2010 contains several tools that can assist a user when creating a complicated document, such as a research paper. Citations, footnotes, page breaks, and word count will be explained in this lecture. As you conduct your research, you can add each source to a master list of sources that you consulted. You fill in information such as author, title, year of publication, and so on. Word 2010 automatically builds citations based on the information that you provide. When you write your paper and you quote a source, you can easily insert a citation by selecting from the sources in your list or you can add an entry for a new source. Citations are automatically formatted for the guidelines, such as MLA or APA, that you specify. When you reach the end of your paper, you can easily assemble the list of references that you used. Just click a button to create the bibliography. Office Word 2010 formats it for you automatically according to the guidelines that you specify. Footnotes and endnotes are used in printed documents to explain, comment on, or provide references for text in a document. You might use footnotes for detailed comments and endnotes for citation of sources. A footnote or an endnote consists of two linked parts, the note reference mark and the corresponding note text. Microsoft Office Word automatically numbers footnotes and endnotes for you. By default, Word places footnotes at the end of each page and endnotes at the end of the document. When a document is created that exceeds one page, Word will insert a soft or automatic page break. Soft page breaks are adjusted as text is added or deleted from a document. If a page break is desired before the current page is full, a hard or manual page break can be entered. Unlike soft page breaks, Word never moves or adjusts hard page breaks. However, hard page breaks can be removed. To insert a hard page break, key control plus enter or use the page layout ribbon, page setup group, and page break gallery. Word 2010 counts the number of words in a document while you type. Word 2010 can also count the following pages, paragraphs, lines, and characters characters either including or excluding spaces. On the Review tab in the Proofing group, click Word Count. In this lecture, you were exposed to just a few tools that can help with creating a research paper or other detailed document.